Friends, it is Saturday, December 5, 2020, and we are finishing up this great uh, chapter one of Luke, in which we've been looking uh, in the second half of this week at the Magnificat, Mary's Song. I want to continue with verses uh, 54, 5, and 6. And this is Mary speaking. God has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promises he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Abraham's descendants forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth for about three months, and then she returned to her home. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, hope is, uh, is more than just an emotion that comes and goes. Hope is something we can build into our lives, that we can make a, a fundamental part of our outlook. One of the ways to do that is to learn to look at life through the lens of the biblical story. Now, Mary gives us a great example of that. I remember yesterday I explained that these predictions she had about the future in which there would be a social and international changes were all put into the past tense as if they'd already happened because <laughs> she's so confident that God's will is an irresistible reality. But her confidence in that was partly based on past tense events. She remembers here the promises made to her ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants, and the help God has given to Israel in the past. Now, we don't know what she's referring to. Is she referring to the rescue from slavery in Egypt, the miracle at the Red Sea, the bearding of the Pharaoh, the giving of the law? Is she, is she remembering uh, the, the, the great prophets uh, that return after the Babylonian captivity? Is she, is she remembering the, the promises to, to David? We do know she mentions Abraham, and so Abraham's great promise that Israel would be blessed to be a blessing and that they would have land and descendants may be, may be certainly in her mind. But she also refers to, to, to Abraham's descendants. And so one thinks of a chapter in the New Testament, like he, in Hebrews, where we have this long, uh, wonderful chapter in Hebrews that goes on about all of the fantastic uh, ancestors who um, have blessed us in previous generations by their remarkable faith. And so um, in chapter 11, we have a, a list of all these wonderful ancestors of the faith. I encourage you to read that, so that chapter sometime. Mary is, is building her hope by remembering the great things that God has done and seeing herself as a part of that unfolding purpose in history. She's connected to Abraham. She's connected to his descendants. She's connected to all the good things God has done in the past. And that, in fact, she's calling uh, into her life encouraging ancestors. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, maybe you should try that in your life. Think of your life in the context of God's unfolding purposes. The folks in the Bible are, are encouraging ancestors to you, including Mary. Because Mary, who put all these things in the future uh, that hadn't yet happened, that would happen for Israel, that would happen for the world, uh, these the fulfillment of promises, the changes in, in, in international life and in uh, national life, she put those things into the future, and as we look back, they happened. She becomes for us an encouraging ancestor. Think of the way in which her son has blessed the entire world in remarkable ways, people of every tongue and nation. Let's take a moment to pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the promises fulfilled in the Old Testament. We thank you for the ones that were fulfilled in the New Testament in the person of Jesus, the expectations and hopes and dreams of the prophets the promises to David for a kingdom that would never end. And Lord, we thank you for the subsequent fulfillment of the promises that Mary enunciated where the world has been impacted by the goodness and grace of your son as it's known and proclaimed and embodied in the life of the church. Lord, we thank you in advance for the wonderful things you will do for us in our own individual lives and in the life of our community. Build up our hope. Help us to turn to encouraging ancestors when we need to. We ask it through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thanks for being with us this week.